This weekend is the beginning of tourism season for many businesses in western Kelloland. But as families pack up for their camping trips, they'll be faced with higher gas prices, and that's a big concern for some iconic Black Hills attractions. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Sydney Thorson looks at the unique challenges 2022 is bringing for summer tourism. Wall Drug has been a staple along Interstate 90 for decades, offering free water and five cent coffee for people on their way to and from the Black Hills. However, this year the business is facing a new challenge. Going in, we thought it'd be good, maybe not quite that good, but but good. Uh, what I'm a little bit more concerned about now is the gas prices. Compared to last year, Wall Drug's visitor numbers are down 10 percent. Chairman Rick Husted says his business is a drive market, which means people tend to drive to or through wall drug when in the area. So if the gas prices continue to rise, Husted says this summer tourism season could be impacted. They're talking about $6 gas, which I think would impact, and diesel over that, which will impact the campers. So that's a little concerning. I don't think it's going to stop the season. This isn't just a concern for wall drug, but also for businesses in Keystone, like the Big Thunder Gold Mine. We try to make it as reasonable as possible. We put packages together. Uh, we know that they're struggling just like we're struggling. And so we want it to be a very good vacation for them and have the best time that they can for the amount of money that they're spending. The Big Thunder Gold Mine owner, Sandy McLean, says their numbers are lower compared to last year. But it's getting busier and busier by Memorial Day, and we're hoping that it'll keep up to par, but it's been quite a slow spring. We also know that staffing has been an issue for businesses everywhere, but some have had to adjust working with fewer employees. We have very a very loyal staff, and they've been here quite a long time, and they all returned this year. In, in 2019, our normal staff was 200. In 2020, we had to run with 80, 80 employees less, 40 percent less, 120, which was very engaging, but we made it. But we learned how to run with less help. Last year, we had 165 employees and operated very well in the best year we've ever had. Both Wall Drug and Big Thunder say last year's visitor numbers were some of the highest they've ever seen. While this year's foot traffic may be a little lower so far, everyone is hopeful for a successful summer tourism season, including the t-shirt shop. We are kind of a little bit more relaxed right now. Very grateful for the past years, but just anxious for this year. I have a very positive outlook on this season. It's going to be different. We're thrilled to be full as far as staffing. That will be a great advantage. We can have a bit more of wall drug open, and uh, uh, we're looking forward to the season. We think it'll be a good one. These businesses say there is still a lot of summer left to go. And regardless of the high gas prices, they are opening their doors for everyone who is able to make the trip. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Sydney Thorson. And campgrounds in the Black Hills National Forest have seen hundreds of cancellations since the gas prices began to rise. However, open sites are filling up quickly with local campers. 